Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today with my everyday basic essentials. First of all, I will tell you what kind of sparked this video. My brother called one day and my dad had gone into the hospital. Well, with all of this makeup and I was kind of in a panic, it literally took me about an hour to decide what I wanted to pack. And I thought, that's ridiculous. I need to be able to, you know, go if I need to go. If I need to flee my house, <laughs> I need to be able to go. So I bought this purse and stylist and I packed this with my everyday basics. When it came right down to it, what do I choose to take with me? So I'm just gonna jump right into this and um, I'll show you what's in this little makeup bag. Okay, in inside the purse stylus. It's got these little pockets around the edges and a big open space in the center. And then up here, I've got a little zip pocket and then the top and zips. And it's got a nice spacious little spots for brushes and smudges. So I'm just gonna go through in the order that I put things on. First of all, a sunscreen. And I have the Biore UV because I do love this, but it travels so well. Wears great under makeup, it's nice and light, and I love this. Then for a primer, I picked the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I love the way this feels going on. It just kind of perfects my skin. I do think it blurs. I think it blurs out pores, fine lines, everything. It's just a good, it's a beautiful primer. Okay, over here I have my mascara. And I'm taking the Essence Lash Primer because I never like to go a day without this. This makes my eyelashes gigantic, and I think it also makes my uh, mascara stay on better. So I take my Essence Lash Primer, and then always, I would never go anywhere without my Essence Sculpted Volume Lash Princess. Never. This is always my first coat after this. Then I like a layering mascara, and I have found one that I have fallen deeply, passionately in love with, and that is the Benefit Roller Lash. It, the brush on it, I feel like kind of combs out my lashes. It makes them really long and separated. So I take a little one of these. Then for concealer, I'm taking the concealer I'm using up right now. And that is the Too Faced Born This Way. And I love this. I love it. It stays all day, so it's great to travel with. It's just... It is good. But before I put on this, I put on my color corrector. And I have the H Rewind in here because this never fails me and I love it. I have ripped off the sponge. I put that on a little baby beauty, beauty blender and I love this. This is great. And all of these are so nice and skinny to travel with. Then for my eyebrows, I have the Benefit Gimme Brow and I love this. It's the perfect color. I have the one for blonde and I have it on now. It's just really nice. I just really like this. Every time I use this, somebody says, did you get your eyebrows done? And I'm like, no, I just combed them out. And so I really love this. And then I've got my Milk Jumbo Stick to paint on my eyelid. Right here where you see that brightness, I always have this on um, to brighten. And I'm also taking something else that I am in love with. And that is this L'Oreal True Match Concealer Stick. And I love this because I can also paint on my lid with this and it's not so white, but I can also kind of touch up down here or up by my brow bone. I love this. So all of those go in this little end pocket down here. Then on this end down here, I have face products. I have my foundations. One of those is the Double Wear. It's tried and true. It's time tested. It never fails me and it wears all day. So not a lot of touch-ups with this, a nice full cover, but I'm also taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in case I want a lighter cover. Because I will tell y'all, if I'm traveling and I get tired, I don't need just a real full cover. It tends to get cakey. If I'm tired, I don't know, I tend to cake it up too much, like put too much on. This is beautiful. It's a nice medium cover, but I could build it. It just has the most beautiful finish. So I'm taking the Double Wear and the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Okay, then for powder, after I do my foundation for powder, I have my powder sitting right over here in this end down here. And the ones that I'm gonna take for finishing and setting, I'm taking the It Bye Bye. I'm taking it in the pressed because it's not messy. It sets beautifully and it blurs like nobody's business. I love that. And I can use it under my eyes. And then since I'm taking a matte foundations, I also want to take a powder with a little bit of a luminosity. So I'm taking the Hourglass Diffuse Light. 
it's between a luminous powder and a just a mattifying powder. It just is beautiful and perfecting and blurring. So I'm taking the Hourglass Diffuse Light, so I'm taking two pressed. One to set and finish, and one to kind of add a little luminosity back. Okay, then for a contour and bronzer, I'm taking one for both. And that is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer because this is what I'm using up right now. So I might as well keep it packed. And I love this. It's what I have on today. I have it on as contour and bronzer, and um, I just love this. And then for a highlighter, I'm also taking the one that I'm using up, and that is the IT Hello Light, and it's kind of a cream. I like to put it on one of these Real Techniques brushes, just swirl this around in it, and then dot it right here on the high points of my cheeks, and it just gives my face a lift. So I love this. I really do love that. Okay, then for blushes, I'm taking a cool and a warm, a pink and a peach, I've got my peach over here, and I've got my pink over here. And for the peach, I'm taking the Laura Mercier in peach, and this is just beautiful. It's beautiful, so I love that. And then I'm also taking a topper. I'm taking the Milani Luminoso. This is beautiful over a peach or a pink, but I will use this with the Laura Mercier peach. On the pink side, I'm using up the Clinique Berry Pop. So that's what I have in there, and it falls out, so I'm going to be really careful with it, but I love this. This just makes me look like I've just come in from the cold. It is beautiful. And then the Milani Bella Bellini is going to be my blush topper for the pink. Then I'm also taking for a setting spray, I'm taking the Milani Make It Last because this is the one I'm using up, and I spray this on a damp beauty blender, and it's what I bounce my foundation out with. and takes down the powder look. I love that. Okay, then for eyeshadows, I'm taking cools and warms. These just travel so easy because they're metal, and I can get a million looks with this Just Peachy. I can get a red look. I can get a peach look. I can get just a neutral look, but I'm taking that for my warm look, and then for my cool look, I'm taking two. I'm taking the Tartlet and Bloom, and I'm taking the Tartlet Amazonian Clay. And again, these are in that metal container. They travel real easy. This one is all matte, and it never fails me. I don't have to work too hard at it. My eyeshadow just, it always does good with these. So I'm not stuck in the room doing my eyeshadow for two hours. And then the In Bloom goes nicely with this one. So these are kind of companion palettes. And I always carry a brush cleaner with me because when I'm traveling, my brushes get messy and then I pack them again. So I always clean off my brushes with this between each color and then after I use them. And I just put that down here in the center pocket with my eyeshadows. Okay, next, lipsticks and lip liners. And I have those over here in this pocket. And again, I'm taking peaches and pinks. I'm taking one liner, and it is just a neutral Rimmel liner. It's These are just great. And I can use that with peaches or pinks. I think this is Cafe Au Lait. It's that. And then for the peach, I'm taking Strip Search by Too Faced. And this is just a great peachy nude. That is a great everyday lipstick. And then for the pinks, I'm taking more pinks. I'm taking the Natasha Denona Smoky Rose. This is my, it's got to be my holy grail pinky nude. It is beautiful. And then I'm taking the L'Oreal Shine in 910. And it is very close to that color, but this is great for touch-ups. And it's that one. So it's a little bit lighter. That is beautiful. And then I'm taking a pink gloss, and this is in Sunday Best, and y'all, I love this. It's a Rimmel. The Rimmel glosses, they just have a million great shades, and they're not too sticky. These are the ones that I just reach for more than any. Okay, and then up here in the top, in this little zip pocket, I have got an Urban Decay Sharpener. Love that. And the liners I'm taking, are the Prestige and Black Brown for underneath, Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Liner, a Lancome Liner in Moss for my warmer looks. This is kind of an earthy green. It's that. It is beautiful. I'm taking a gray liner. This is in Grease Noir, and this is a gray. That one. 
and then I'm taking just a brown one and this is in black coffee and it's that. Then I'm taking the Tarte Man Eater for a liquid liner. Y'all, this is just perfect. I always get a perfect line, not too thick and not too thin. Okay, and that's everything in this main compartment of the purse in. And then up here, I'm taking brushes and sponges. Okay, and the brushes I'm taking, I'm taking this little IT travel brush. It's just the perfect size for powder, bronzer. I always use it for powder. Then I'm taking this little blush brush because it's so dense and that Clinique Berry Pop, I like putting that on with this. It just gets me a good wash of color. Then I'm taking my It Heavenly Luxe brush. This is great because it's kind of soft for going over and just being sure I have that foundation blended out real good. I love that. Then I have two Real Techniques blending brushes for bronzer, no, contour and highlight. I love these. I could have 20 of them and not feel like I had too many. Then I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush. I love this brush. This is a great powder brush too. Then I have my e.l.f. Total Face for a very nice soft powder application. And then the Morphe M438. Perfect for under here. This is a little firmer. So I like taking both of those. And then for eye brushes, I'm taking a good crease brush. The Sigma E47 is my Holy Grail crease brush. Always would travel with that. Then one a little bit fatter is the Small Tapered Blending, the E45 by Sigma. Love that. Then I've got two brushes that size. The MAC 221S is that one. And then I have a Wayne Goss. <laughs> it's the same, the number 19. I could pick one of those, but yeah, I have both of those in here. Then for blending, on the eyebrow and then for a final blend down here, the Morphe M504. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. I love that brush. And then the Sephora Pro Blending number 27. And I love this for over here on the inner and just blending up a little bit. It's just the right amount of firmness. I love that. And then for a pencil brush, I have the Morphe M574. And I love this because it's a little bit fat, but it's stiff and pointy. And it blends out perfectly under there. And then the Real Techniques, just a blending brush. I use this mostly to blend um, eyeshadow primer. <laughs> this is very specific. I don't take an eyeshadow primer with me. I'll use concealer. And then I'll blend it out with this. So this is just a good little blending brush to have around. And then I take three beauty blenders. I think this one's by Miss A. The Super Soft by Miss A. That's like $1.50. Then I take a mid-size and a little baby. I take all of those. Oh, and I'm also taking a puff. I keep my puff down here with my powders. And those are my go-to basic everyday products. And I love having this packed and ready so I can just grab it and go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And y'all let me know down below your absolute go-to, die-hard, number one products that you just cannot live without. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.